and then take it in by wrapping around. So the feeling of the action is building up with the body over and not this. Yes? So, doesn't go nowhere. So I want again, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Into the hip. Eight. Again. Eight. Believe me, she doesn't need more information than this to settle. Why? Because by you doing in your body, she's gonna fall, she's gonna react. If you embrace her there, closing, lifting, and send her in, you give an information and a freedom for her to react into the movement. Okay? Try. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, one. Okay, there. Now, sorry guys, when you go down, I don't want to see your butt getting down. Yes? That's why we keep the pelvis forward, because this is going to give the definition of how much my upper body can get to the leg. Now, another very important thing, lady doesn't go at all back. So, even though we lead, and we send it back, we actually saw this fall. So, in theory, I don't have to take it in. It doesn't matter if I push it back, her reaction is always, you see, she's going forward. I can have resistance in there, and the only things I have to do is accept it. To let her in. No. No pull her in. Yes? That's another big thing in Passo Doble, because the arms are moving too much. So let's try just again. Shall we? And... Slow and down. Slow, slow and okay. Again. And slow and ah, slow. So there is a different time. It's not a quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. It's a her time. And quick, quick. Ah, slow. Yeah? Because I'm waiting her to build it in. Cool. Then, once she get it down, I have to use the scoop to let out. And, and, yeah? So I'm not doing there, and I'm not doing there. I'm just allowing my body to get in to give a space. Slow and down. Slow, slow and. Yes? Can we try? So, three, four and down. Five, six, seven, eight and down. One, two, three. Three. Yeah, why why is he the why is he the body up? Try to squeeze your option, settle your body into it. Eh? Two, three, four and down. Five, six, seven. So what happened in five, six, seven? After you wear this. What happened here? What happened there? What do you think? What is happening there? Why is the action here? Is it... Okay. There is a rotation here. When the belt and land, it should stay with the pelvic forward. 
when you do, when you see the, when you see bull fight, right? You're in this position here. Why the matadores is in this position? Why would you think is there? Why they choose to be like that? Last exercise to get your body in tune, to get your body a little bit more warm and get with your body more coordinated. First, number one is the posture. Everything, wherever you start to dance, it has to be right position of your body. So what it is, we have to keep a long spine. With a long spine, it means that you have to come up from your hip. So you don't start with a saddle down. You start always with a little bit of elevation. You come up, yes? So this is number one. Second, rib cage. It's closing down and the pelvic a little bit tilt in. So it's a neutral position, maybe at the beginning for the beginner, so it's gonna be feels a little bit unnatural, but that's how you find yourself more and more, you practice more natural feel for it. So you keep it close from the rib cage and the hip and long spine, yes? Long spine and open shoulder blade. It's progressive movement, yeah? with a three step, two and three and four, in a four beats. So, the first thing before you move, you release the hip, settlement, start to rotate, activate the also upper body, straighten the knee, pick up the heel, between, yes? And that's you have to feel a position. And then continue, move till the toe finishing, mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes. And then again beginning. And settlement, rotation, leg, foot. Settle, rotation, leg, foot. Settle, rotation, leg, foot. Now, when I said the leg, the body don't stop, I was gonna be the leg. Yeah? So you have at the same time, knee, foot, body goes. Knee, Dance Today continues to create entertaining and educational content because of the contributions from viewers like you. If you would like to donate to the channel, please click on the Patreon link in the description below. Thank you for your support.